check out this fine view. Isn't this a wonderful spot? It's a beautiful day. And there's the rock pit that we just drove through, rode through. Sun shining all out. Yeah, this is part of Belly Acres here. We got us a fine view. This could be a home site over here. Maybe I'll put one right here one of these days. But the property goes on up and around and whatnot. We got us around here. There's the fine Favado bike. And we got the view. Got all this fine looking countryside around here. It goes on up there to where that big tall leaner prop is. We're about near the property line. The property line is just beyond or right around the base of that tree. We're in one of the corners and the other corner is way the heck and gone up the top of the hill there. We can't see it from here because there's trees and stuff in the way. But this is a fine, fine view from the top of the mountain here. Well, it's not the top of the mountain, but at the end of the road. End of the right, right, right away here. We did this during the last logging project. And of course, here's the fine Favado bike. Now this one was a is a wonderful bike. I do like the step through. It does perform just a little bit better. For me, it fits me well. To my surprise, the girl's bike is a wonderful bike. And I am still mighty impressed with the build quality on this bike. This Favato bike, it's a wonderful bike. I enjoy it. I wouldn't mind stepping up to a mid-drive or one of those faster 1500 watt hub bikes that I've been looking at. But shh, we won't talk about those. This I'm thinking is a copy of the early uh, low entry level Hemiways. Perhaps a zebra step through. But boy, we just we got a nice double chain guard around here. So the chain never has bothered to kick off and whatnot. You know what guys were talking about that on different reviews and I can see what they mean. Even though I've never had a chain kick off on me on the riding around, but I've been sticking mostly to the roads. And there's that fine front fork again. And check out this fine here. Here is some of the logging and stuff the guys did here. They took down a few more trees than I would have liked, but oh well, that's the way she goes. And you can see there's the old skid road. Now, I've ridden my motorcycle up and down that in times past. And it would be fine for the four-wheeler. But maybe a little bit more than what the e-bike is set to do. And of course, there's where the other road takes off and goes on up around the other side of the property. And way the heck and going over there, you'll see the ridge where Bidwell's property is and that kind of thing. Mine runs on down the hill here. You can't see the end of it. We, this is just the 30 acre piece here. But there's like three cell phone bars of service here. And we're all doing pretty good. We be doing fine. And this is me, of course, in the fine bike helmet and the setup and whatnot. You can see I've got my coveralls on because it may look warm out here and it, it is warm, but uh, not as warm as what uh, it looks like. <laughs> it's comfortable. I kind of liking it. It's good in my jeans and there's the fine rock pit again. And down here is the burn where the guys were at. 
And of course, the most important thing, the bicycle, the e-bike. You got the front bosses on there for the front basket, which myself, I'd probably never put those on there. Uh, I do like the, the placement of the bell. That's been really handy. And these faux leather grips, they work fine. And you know, on the placement of these things, the swept back handlebars are something that I've really come to appreciate. And I like the upright riding posture on these. And this great twist throttle right here. Oops, the display is on because some guy didn't power it off. You gotta press down on this here button and hold it in for a couple of seconds and it goes off. That's a good thing. I've got the phone holder on there today. Just put it on there a few minutes ago. Uh, to my surprise, it works pretty good for viewing along there. Probably on a highway ride. Maybe not so much on the trails. <laughs> but here's the bike. And here's the sides and stuff. And you know the kickstands, guys are always talking about them rattling and whatnot when they're riding. This kickstand is nice and solid and firm. It doesn't make any noise or whatever. So, uh, yeah, no reason to strap it down. It doesn't make any noise. And this bike, this rear rack is all aluminum. It's rated for 25 kilogram, which I'm guessing is around uh, 40, 50 pounds somewhere in there. It's not one that, uh, in my opinion, double riding on a bicycle may not be a wonderful thing, even though we did it when we were younger. But now that we're older, not so much. But hey, this was that is that fine Favato? I got this for a prize. And I'm really happy with it because I found that I really do like the uh, step-through design. I just thought a lot's better. <laughs> lot's better. And it's got a nice cushy saddle on it and whatnot. And this is a currently produced bike that a guy can get now. And we got the water bottle bosses there right down there where they'd be handy. Although more than likely, if I was, after I've watched a few different guys' videos and stuff, I'd make use of these front bosses and put a water bottle up there. Some guys put put the water bottle on their rack. And this, if, if you forget, this red button here turns on and off the twist throttle. And of course it just has this uh, standard 7 speed Shimano shift lever. It works pretty good. And these Tektro branded brakes, they are mechanical, but you know, I do like them. Uh, they work, been working fine for me. Uh, I've not had the hydraulic ones to try yet. Maybe in the future. Well, this is Billy Acres, and we're out of here.